Will Microcredentials and Certificates Change Australian Higher Education? by Tom Worthington, the Higher Education Whisperer. Following the adage, never let a good crisis go to waste, the Australian government is introducing reforms to higher education. While proposals to charge different fees for different degrees has received attention, those promoting shorter qualifications may have more long-term impact. The Australian government funded graduate certificates and a new undergraduate certificate, equivalent of about 12 weeks full-time study. These were introduced as a short-term measure due to COVID-19. The government is also encouraging micro-credentials, which university are implementing by repurposing units of about three weeks of full-time degree content. Both certificates and short courses do not seem a radical change for universities, however, if students start enrolling in these in place of degrees, it could have a profound effect. Universities would hope students would take some micro-credentials, then use these for a certificate, then a diploma or degree at the same institution but students may find they don't really need the degree, or that they want to mix and match micro-credentials from different institutions for their degree. This is routine in the vocational education sector, where training units are standardised. But universities have been miserly in granting credit for study elsewhere, arguing their programmes are unique. For more visit the highereducationwhisperer.com.